Over the past few months, China's space program has taken a massive step forward. They have launched and begun setting up the first module of their new modular space station. This is going to be a massive achievement for China's space program, and a key factor to putting them back in league with companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin. In today's video, we are going to be discussing China's new Tiangong space station, and the recent launch of the first module and its crew. First off, let's talk a little bit about space stations in general. A space station is a large spacecraft that is in orbit around Earth. This spacecraft serves as a home where crews of astronauts and cosmonauts can live and work in space. It is almost like a unique science lab. In most cases, a space station is built in a collaborative effort between multiple nations, and it is often lived in by astronauts from multiple nations at the same time when in operation. Since it would have been impossible for them to build space stations on the ground and then launch the entire thing into space in one go, the space station is built over time, piece by piece, and then sent into orbit, approximately 400 kilometers above the surface of the Earth one piece at a time. Then it is assembled in orbit, as more and more pieces or modules are launched and deployed. As of 2019, there is only one space station that is considered to be operational. This, of course, is the International Space Station, which is permanently inhabited. Some stations that existed in the past would include the Skylab, the Mir, Tiangong-1, along with the Almas and Salyut series. So what makes this new space station from China special? Well, you see, when it is fully operational, it will be one of two operational space stations in orbit. Launching from the Wenchang Spacecraft Launch Facility in Hainan, China back in April of this year, a Long March 5 rocket carried with it the first module of China's new Tiangong space station. The Long March 5, also called the Changzhong 5, is a Chinese-built heavy lift launch vehicle developed by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology. It is the fifth generation in China's Long March rocket series, which was named after the Long March of the Chinese Red Army in 1934 and 35 during the Chinese Civil War. The Long March 5 is currently the world's third most powerful orbital launch vehicle, just falling behind the Falcon Heavy and the Delta IV Heavy. Being China's most powerful launch vehicle, it is no surprise that they chose to use it for such an important and heavy payload like the Tiangong Space Station's first module. Standing at just around 53 meters tall, the Long March 5 rocket is crucial to China's space program because it was created almost specifically for missions like this to carry massive payloads along with crew members into space, with the many components of the space station being on the top of that list. The rocket is equipped with four boosters, and in order to have a successful launch, the Long March 5 is cryogenically fueled. Cryogenic fuels are kept at an extremely low temperature in order for them to maintain their liquid state. This type of fuel is necessary for space missions because, under the very low temperatures found in space, ordinary fuel would not combust properly, especially with the extremely low oxygen content that is found in what they call human explorable space. The Long March 5 uses a mixture of RP-1 and liquid oxygen to get into the sky. But then the core of the rocket takes over, and uses liquid hydrogen and oxygen to carry the payload the rest of the way. These boosters provide the rocket with just about 10,600 kilonewtons of thrust, which is what is used to propel the rocket into space. This rocket is the first rocket since the 1960s that saw the core stage of the rocket, which was lit on the ground, make it all the way into orbit. The last time a spacecraft did this was the space shuttle back in the 60s. How cool is that? China is going to be working under a very strict and tight deadline. As of right now, the space agency hopes to finish the Tiangong space station by 2022. That's less than half of a year away, and they've only just deployed their first module. They are certainly going to need to work quickly and efficiently if they hope to meet their own deadline. There are at least two more confirmed modules for the space station that are planned to be deployed in the near future. But first things first, China plans to get some cargo and crew delivered to the first module in orbit. It is no secret that this mission, and having an operational space station, will greatly increase the boundaries of the entire country's human-based spaceflight program. I mean, let's talk about some of China's previous space stations for a second. China has had two space stations in the past, the first being called the Tiangong-1, and the other was named the Tiangong-2, both of which were considered to be small space stations, with a launch mass of around 10 tons. This would put the new Tiangong at a larger size than both of them, and officially make it China's largest space station. Time to discuss the most recent news about the new Tiangong space station took place on June 17th at around 6.52 a.m. IST. A Long March 2F rocket launched China's first crewed spacecraft in the past five years into the sky. Launching on the Long March 2F was a Shenzhou-12 spacecraft that included three Chinese astronauts, Ni Haisheng, Liu Boming, and Tong Hongbo. 
The three astronauts, who had been honored at a modest ceremony that took place at the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, launch into space early that morning and dock their craft with Tianhe, which is the name of the first and main module for the new Tiangong. The launch was broadcast across state media, all the way from the launch and up until the astronauts reached orbit. With some internal shots of the cabin where you could see the astronauts, the world got to see them smile, and notice some items floating in the zero gravity around them. They truly seemed to be happy and excited about their mission. The three astronauts are China's first astronauts in space since 2016, and this is going to be China's longest scheduled missions, with the trio being expected to remain on the Tiangong for about three months, which is three times longer than any other Chinese missions have ever been. The Tianhe is equipped with separate living spaces for each of the astronauts, along with a treadmill to exercise on. There is also a communication center on board, where the crew can receive emails and make video calls to ground control. This mission is expected to be complex. While living in the cylinder-shaped module, the crew is expected to carry out further construction work on the space station. One of the astronauts, Ni Haisheng, who is a former Air Force pilot and now holds the title for the oldest Chinese astronaut to go into space, has said that every step of this mission carries some very high and heavy expectations. He believes that every step is going to contribute to the strength of the Chinese people and the peaceful use of space by mankind. Throughout this mission, the astronauts are going to be conducting two spacewalks, which is more than any other previous mission. A spacewalk is what they call it when an astronaut gets out of the vehicle, or in this case space station, and floats around in space usually attached to some sort of tether. A spacewalk can also be referred to as an EVA, or extravehicular activity. The first spacewalk in history lasted about 10 minutes and was done by Alexei Leonov, a Russian astronaut on March 18, 1965. During the new spacewalk scheduled for this particular mission, the astronauts will be running various experiments. The experiments include testing a new robot arm, along with a very cool new regenerative life support system. This will be no easy task. To prepare for the mission ahead of them, the three astronauts underwent more than 6,000 hours of training. This training consisted of hundreds of underwater somersaults while wearing full sets of space gear. At the end of the day, the goal of the Tiangong Space Station is similar to that of the International Space Station. It will be a place for astronauts to run experiments and learn more about space. As of right now, the International Space Station is set to retire in 2024. The Tiangong is much smaller, and is expected to have a lifespan of about 10 years, meaning it will outlive the ISS by about 6 years if all goes as planned. As you can see, this entire mission is a huge step in the right direction for China's operations in space. I for one can't wait to find out what will happen over the course of the next month or two that the astronauts are helping to put the Tiangong Space Station together. What do you think? Do you think the new Tiangong Space Station will be operational by 2022? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time.